Today I kind of want to talk about my son and uh, my life a little bit maybe, I don't know. But um, about carnivore again. Uh, uh, my son was asking about to going to carnivore and I was happy because I believe if you only doing carnivore in your house and everybody doesn't come with you, like you cook for everybody different stuff, you definitely going one day go out of carnivore. Uh, maybe in the beginning you start really strong and later if doesn't have a support around you or um, like I have it in the refrigerator nothing like I have few things but it's like it's almost empty uh, let me to show you my refrigerator inside and you will see what I mean about it but if my husband was a no carnivore and I have like bread the different stuff or um, I don't know like kind of like processed food in the house um, it's still really hard to go outside I don't I f believe I don't craving anymore but it's still hard when you go outside and you see bellboards or smell and everything it's not craving really bad like I can tell you sometimes when I wasn't a keto it was a really bad craving I have and I always knew it was cooked um, like kind of sweets keto sweets and it still doesn't was satisfy me 100% but it was kind of kill my a sweet tooth I will say uh, this time I have kind of was thinking about it but I don't was like craving too hard and I think that I'm almost 100% carnivore I believe so um, maybe have something this and that like talking about I have sometimes wine uh, but overall everything is gone let um we well, already show you my refrigerator and nothing else change anything I can tell I have still this water. Um, I love uh, Perrier water, but I don't drink. Um, I would like to drink right now. I believe I love it, but it's really bad for our B diet forever. Uh, we have it. Uh, this it was last bacon. I cook with eggs. We have boiling eggs. Uh, we do have um, steak from yesterday. If you can stay, have steak. And I love cold steak. I can tell you, if your steak look like this red one, you see, I love this. And I have mozzarella cheese too. It's like kind of a meal. I have another one, same. This is kind of mozzarella cheese. Um, this is a kind of meal prep for my husband or for my son if he's only want to open and grabbing parmesan cheese, eggs, a um, little uh, left ground beef, uh, normal eggs, normal eggs and the kind of milk whey stuff which i do have a milk here uh, and um parmesan cheese done this is my kind of staple stuff and if you can see it's kind of i will say it's uh empty uh but i do will uh, will be cooked today and throw some stuff uh if you can see i'm on throws going to be a salmon I am for uh, uh, turkey, ground turkey. Again, cell was I love cells. Uh, it was dollar seventy four something. Love this one, and this was what I was talking about. This is was less fat gra ground beef. I will be take one package of this and one uh, package of this, and I and I. I think I would like to try this, but I don't like combining meat with fish. Uh, for me, it tastes really bad in combination if I will dehydrate. This I will be meat, uh, beef, uh, ground beef jerky and ground beef turkey. I will try to do this and later I will be make a salmon ground, um, jerky. I will see, I find kind of recipes and everything. I will try have minimum um, ingredient there normally i want salt but maybe i will put some kind of spices i don't know yet but my son today going to school and um after holidays he decided to be carnivore but yesterday he kind of decided he doesn't want to be a carnivore but i started thinking about it today in the morning he doesn't want to pick up any meal he doesn't want to eat anything and um he kind of looking around i think he will be was embarrassing so you saw my refrigerator it's have meat and everything. He doesn't want to kind of be embarrassing to open maybe a container and have a meat kind of stuff. I don't know why, but you know kids sometimes different. I don't know what I will be to do, but I'm thinking about maybe I will 
keep him kind of car keto carnivore, give him a little bit something. I uh, before cook him for him was oatmeal in the morning, only plain oatmeal with the milk and a little bit of butter. That um, he doesn't want to anything, and it was kind of surprise for me. He wants different stuff and i understand he craving i understand he sometimes when now a different way he going outside and interact with his friend and i don't know they sometimes maybe give him candy and everything like this he's 11 years old and he's already a big boy but deal with kids and um it's really hard yesterday we went to uh i think it's zone adventure or something like this it's park where you have play mini golf you have cards and what do they have like um some kind of like games inside and everything and we don't eat anything but I pick up um, beef jerky and mozzarella cheese slices it's already slices and we eat in a car like in a car couple slices of this and we finish jerky and I said right now I can go but my son like I have a money I want to buy pizza I want to buy ice cream I want this and that and I needed to stop him and said, no, you don't going to buy. And he's told me like, it's my money. I won't spend it on everything I want. And I understand it's his money, but um, I hope from 11 years or younger, when we teach him something, when he become self-dependent, he starts working and move from one house. Maybe he gain weight, maybe he feel bad, but memories which create right now will be in a in his brain it will be memories which he will be remember maybe i need to go back to carnivore maybe i need to go out of fast foods and everything uh and it's scaring me uh i'm looking around and people who go into high schools and everything they normally gain a lot of weight and eat bad and drinking and different stuff but we will leave ourselves in back and let him to do what he want to do and make his decision. I believe you cannot forward your son or daughter hand holding them whole their life. But overall, um, right now, when they with you, they kind of dependence on you and kind of you teach them right way or wrong way, but you teach them the way and they can decide it later on what's right for them. I believe that the decision will be like adults like we are we sometimes don't like hear that our parents but we sometimes mention them or oh, my mother always tell that or my dad said that and this was true or not true or something like this we always come back to this beliefs and this um, stories or I don't know how to explain um, situation with our parents teach us. Like, um, I don't know what to do. Uh, my son do not want to be carnival. And I think about do something maybe a little bit. We do always have apples in the refrigerator. We don't have any more, you see, apples. We don't have any more bananas. I don't buy any, anything. You saw our refrigerator empty almost. It's not empty. It's have food and it's satisfied food, but it's empty. Uh, everything is in a freezer and frozen. I make burgers. If you can see, this is a freezer. This is our burgers. And the, don't look in chicken, it's for my dogs again. Um, you see, I freeze my burgers. They're really thick. And uh, this have cheese. I named this. This is no cheese. And this is cheese. And I cook sometimes two or three in a grill or more. Uh, and what is left that I keep for next day for kind of different meals. I do have a liver. I have a beef liver again was on sale. I pick up. I have different type of meats. If you can see this, I already show uh, it's frozen. I don't want to throw it. It's expensive bread. And if something happened, it maybe that I give to my son this stuff. Um, I don't know. Yes, uh, we do have more ground turkey. We do like ground turkey and I can tell you if you fry them in the fat in the pan, they're really delicious. And this is it's only our one refrigerator. We do, we do have another refrigerator and we do have like two, one refrigerator and one is freezer. And all of them um, have a meat. 
we do have a food for carnivore and uh, what i always prepare uh or suggest for everybody you do need prepared you don't want to be empty completely in the refrigerator and when you go outside you will be grab more stuff you will be uh, grab different stuff so you're like okay i will start tomorrow or i will be doing tomorrow or okay today a little bit and i still not carnivore kind of you do need to prepare yourself for me i think it will be easy if i would build with myself uh last time when we was in a carnivore i will say um my husband was we was together and i like it su support again he was asking to go to carnivore this time he asking me again go to carnivore and i was so exciting i went to carnivore with him i figured out he was eating bad stuff at work and it was upsetting me and i started thinking eating bad stuff and when i'm upset or if i am like i will dedicate it but if you let me go i will let go completely in a bad way <laughs> i will say and uh yes how we let go and i start cooking different stuff and everything else and i don't i told my husband i don't understand i cook you steaks i cook you everything you want but why he was eating bad stuff at work um but it's happening sometimes if he doesn't put your mind and you said it this it this and you cannot go out with this and i have it a lot of people asking me one thing a lot of people asking me do i will be stay f how long i will be staying on carnivore diet nobody can ask answer that no me no my husband nobody i can tell you if um, i want would like to and i want to have on carnivore for all my life i have so many points why i want to be carnivore like i will tell you one point i'm not craving anymore you uh people think i'm kind of like petite but you people doesn't know how addictive i am to sugar i can tell you when i went to my country my mother said i eat too much sugar everybody around me if you long enough and i was in a bad uh, kind of situation and everything uh, i will say example you if I slept really bad and I'm in a really bad mood, like it's grouchy and drown, drown myself all day long, my husband going to buy cake like this. And I will be eat cake and I will be so satisfied and I will be so happy and everything like this. I took it down cake and I don't want it. I already, I think, 11 days in carnivore or 10 days. And I'm really happy with my... Um, moods i think said i don't talk about my moods changing so much what changing it's my cravings and when i was in aikido i would still have cravings a lot a lot a lot but on a carnivore right now i do not have cravings and it's surprising me like really really surprising me to i don't have cravings but we it's still when it's like small portion going up I'm talking about it's only 10 days or 11 days it's small proportions to say this way and i don't know we'll see uh, my point i would like to go in carnivore for whole um, my lifetime uh, we do go uh, going to cruise and uh, my husband already asking can we eat something bad there or something else but you understand that they're buffet and you can eat almost everything they was have buffet desserts and everything i told him i don't want to um, be not on carnivore i want to stay on carnivore i want to feel great on a cruise i do not want to feel like drugs do you when you sometimes overeat i'd never happen in this with meat when you overeat you kind of like want to sit down you're tired you sleepy i never happen in this with meat i eat and i have energy or i don't have energy but energy doesn't go down i want to feel uh, good and cruise and i told him um if he decides to go uh, off of keto uh, car carnivore, I am okay with that. But I think I will stay. But it's still like four or five months when we're going. We'll see how it's going. I see people on YouTube, a lot of research you have. They begging, they will be stay for a lifetime. And they will be stay. And after three or four months, they go out and doing different stuff. Like they become again keto or become again... Um, what I was yesterday figured out, one woman said... 
I find her from Carnivore. I was typing Carnivore, but I started going to her channel and looking up that she's still on Carnivore, which it was a video like a year ago. And no, she doesn't Carnivore. She's not a keto yet. She's kind of bit, uh, going back to keto a little bit and going off. And she said about she needed to gain muscle, like muscles. She exercised a lot and everything. And she... Normal stuff, I can tell you. I can tell you, nobody tell anybody how long they can be in a carnivore it's all a journey and i hope this journey take me for whole my life and i will experience this journey with you guys and show you what i eat what i don't eat what my experience i already have for two weeks this let's little bit two almost two weeks on this carnivore diet and i kind of researching and i recording what people say and what is with me and i will tell you what i experienced in a carnivore diet for two weeks or three weeks or in a month and i hope it's taken me for more whole my life and i will enjoying this life but we will see it's all about we'll see normally i can always give up carnivore if partner i'm talking about my husband normally <laughs> or somebody else but it, normally my husband um they kind of cheat on me <laughs> no cheating different way i'm talking about cheating on food we decided to go together on carnivore he needed to stay on carnivore like i don't understand how i am follow everything and he can go to work and i don't know he eats chocolates or everything else and um but he this time tell me he will be really consistently doing this stuff well we'll see it's like i don't want to be disappointed um but i can committing to myself right now i don't committing was to the challenge before i committing this time to myself i want to why to show I before was researching a lot, a lot of like sugar cravings and everybody said if you doesn't eat sugar for three days uh, you kind of sugar cravings go away uh, but it's not true it's not what's true for me I don't know if it's true for you or true for everybody else different way but it's not what's true for me uh, everything I follow I was researching a lot like you can imagine how much I researching sugar for me was most um, worst thing what I want to avoid uh, I was angry I want sugar I eat a lot of sugar when I eat sugar I was happy when I don't eat sugar I am not really happy and I need it always with coffee I need it after every meal and when you take it out sugar but you eat potatoes you eat a uh, carbohydrate which is convenient to sugar or you eat substitute sugar anything I will say honey I can say uh, stevia uh, liquid stevia powders any substitute sugar candies keto I will say um, some stuff it's trigger my sweet tooth so much it's kind of like it's piled me down but it's not going down it's still there like I still want my tiramisu I still want uh, my sweets what I really like it yeah and I was researching a lot and I told my husband one time I will give up almost everything I will pay people money if they give me out of this craving sugar so I know like my husband sometimes needs to go to store to pick up a cake for me or some kind of sugar I know people in the bakery buy different stuff and it was like a nightmare but when I start cooking keto it's same way it's never was satisfied it's really good but it's not same it's not same everybody like how many recipes I find and people say oh it's so good and it's same and everything like this and I can tell you it's never was satisfy my tooth 100 percent talking about if i buy it keto cookie with almond flour and everything it's no go away i still was craving i still was there i still was really 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 on a mood for this like uh i will tell you i hope you guys um have a great week coming up and i hope you're enjoying uh, your days and again i know people asking about for my long time car carnivore if i will be stay i don't know again and again and again but 
uh, by the way uh, i will finish right now this uh give me thumbs up if you uh, if you like this video uh subscribe to my channel and um see you next time with a new video and i really appreciate your comments if you leave me comments bad good uh right now it's really important for me i'd like it to read them i i like it uh, applied uh, back to them and i hope you have a wonderful day bye bye